ready. So what am I doing here? Wearing a mask. Uh, it is early April right now. Uh, it is Delaware. I am about to do some local fishing right now. I got my mask on, trying to keep uh, as many precautions as I can. Uh, it's a little scary out there. The government says right now it's a very scary time to be outside. However, in the great state of Delaware, it's okay to fish as long as you keep uh, social distancing. Normally when I fish these spots, I don't see a lot of people to begin with. I'm typically by myself. So this is going to be an interesting experiment today. Um, wish me luck. Hopefully you'll see a lot of fish today. So let's try this again. Uh, the first spot I went to looked pretty crowded. The second spot is part of uh, the park system for the local city and it is closed. So I want to try yet again at the first spot. It's always been pretty promising. There's a few guys out here. I'll flip the camera around here and see if people can see. Um, I don't know what you guys can see out there. There's a few people out there. This is one of the local dams. There's a bridge out here. Um, this pretty much has surprised me the last few years I've lived here. Um, so we're going to give it a shot. So let's try this. Okay, let's see if we catch some fish today. There we go. There we go. Gizzard Chad. Easiest way to get this off the hook. I'll show you. A nice one. Right on the nose. <laughs> They're getting pretty big. This guy's a big one. I like to use pretty heavy pound tests on this guy. What is it? He's lip hook. This is the easiest way to get rid of him. Uh, I wouldn't eat these guys. Quick release. There's one. Wonder where the perch went. I wonder where the perch went. It's oh. a quick release. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Upside down technique. Little Gamagatsu hook with a uh, gulp one inch chartreuse minnow. Works pretty good.
All right. Switched over to an old spoon. What's that? Yeah. Supposed to be nice. Feels like a bite. That's because it is a bite. Oh my god! Oh well. Fish got off, but I was gonna take him off anyway, so. Oh, there's one. And he is foul hooked. It is a perch. Does not count. Quick release. Thanks, fish. That feels like something. That's because it is. Let's see if we can get this guy up. He's a nice one, too. He is certainly a nice one. This is why I use heavy pound tests for this. Woo! Here we go. Lip hooked. Big old gizzard shad. Gotta be a good two pounds or so. Well, if anybody can see it. There he is. It's a quick release. Let's try that again. If you can see, these smell horrible. Bye bye. What's that? Yeah. And that was a nice one to end the day. So if you can see here, the fish that we were catching today, uh, I would classify them as gizzard shad, but pretty much they are a no-go as far as keeping the fish here. Any type of river herring, blueback, they call them glut herring, alawife. Um, never caught an alawife here, but mostly I would call them gizzard shad here. They are strictly, strictly catch and release. And as you can see today, we released all of them. Um, fun to catch though, they were all bunched up at the base of the dam. And the rig I was using is over here. It's a real simple, simple Walmart spoon. And I was jigging with it very gently. The area that I'm fishing here. So it's a real small, cheap Walmart spoon. I would jig uh, along the base of the dam. It has a treble hook on there. One thing that's extremely important, especially now, I know this thing is going for about a hundred bucks on eBay right now, but uh, a little bit of hand sanitizer. Like I said, these um, gizzard shed are pretty smelly guys. I hope my secret identity is safe with you guys. Uh, this was an interesting day today. Um, fishing at a dam. In Delaware. I'm out of breath right now because I just got in the car. Um, not a lot of fish today. However, gizzard shad plenty. And as you saw in part of the video that I had posted, they are a protected fish. You are not allowed to harvest them at all. And today was quick catch and release. But they were fun to catch. Uh, the biggest one had to be a good two or three pounds. They smell horrible. My hands probably smell right now. I'll go home and give my wife a big hug and kiss. And uh, yeah, uh, right now it's early spring. I was hoping for some white perch to come running through here. They're a tremendous, tremendous amount of fun. Uh, a lot of them are pretty big when you when they do come in because they're in the spawn right now or 
close to the spawn anyway. I may have missed it. Um, but today was pretty fun. Hopefully we caught a lot of good video for you guys to watch. And please, please like and subscribe to the fishing pole. Uh, I'm Timski and you're watching me. Hopefully more to come. I am just your average, ordinary, everyday fisherman. I know a little bit. I don't have a lot of money in my equipment. Um, I'm a big proponent of using what you got. Um, and a lot of times it pays off, especially if you just look around you, see what's biting, um, see what fish are around you, and switch your technique around a lot too, because that seems to be one big mistake I notice. Guys out there are just fishing with a bobber and a worm on the bottom, and they say, oh, nothing's biting, nothing's biting. Well, sometimes you gotta change your technique. Uh, that's the other big thing with fishing. If things aren't biting, switch the color of your lure, switch the depth, and take note to see what you see around you too, because that's always a big plus when you fish. Um, again, thanks for watching.